Turpentine, also called spirit of turpentine, oil of turpentine, wood turpentine and colloquially terps, is a fluid obtained by the distillation of resin from live trees, mainly pines. It is mainly used as a solvent and as a source of materials for organic synthesis. One of the earliest sources was the terebinth or turpentine tree Pistachia terebinthus, a Mediterranean tree related to the pistachio. Today turpentine derived from this tree is called Chian, Co, or Cyprian turpentine. Important pines for turpentine production include maritime pine, Pinus pinister, Aleppo pine, Pinus hailpensis, Masson's pine, Pinus massoniana, Sumatran pine, Pinus mercasi, longleaf pine, Pinus palustris, Loblolly pine, Pinus tata, and Ponderosa pine, Pinus ponderosa. Turpentine is composed of terpenes, mainly the monoterpenous alpha pine and beta pine with lesser amounts of carine, camphene, dipentine, and terpenoline. The word turpentine derives via French and Latin from the Greek word terabinthine, terabinthine the feminine form to go with the feminine Greek word for resin of an adjective terabinthinos derived from the Greek noun terabinthos, the name for a species of tree, the terebinth tree. Mineral turpentine or other petroleum distillates are used to replace turpentine, but they are very different chemically. <laughs> <laughs> Source trees One of the earliest sources was the terebinth or turpentine tree Pistachia terebinthus, a Mediterranean tree related to the pistachio. Important pines for turpentine production include maritime pine, Pinus pinister, Aleppo pine, Pinus hailpensis, Masson's pine, Pinus massoniana, Sumatran pine, Pinus mercasi, longleaf pine, Pinus palustris, Loblolly pine, Pinus tata, and Ponderosa pine, Pinus ponderosa. Canada balsam, also called Canada turpentine or balsam of fir, is a turpentine which is made from the oleoresin of the balsam fir. Venice turpentine is produced from the western larch Larix occidentalis. To tap into the sap producing layers of the tree, turpentiners used a combination of hacks to remove the pine bark. Once debarked, pine trees secrete oleoresin onto the surface of the wound as a protective measure to seal the opening, resist exposure to microorganisms and insects, and prevent vital sap loss. Turpentiners wounded trees in V-shaped streaks down the length of the trunks to channel the oleoresin into containers. It was then collected and processed into spirits of turpentine. Oleoresin yield may be increased by as much as 40% by applying paraquat herbicides to the exposed wood. The V-shaped cuts are called cat faces for their resemblance to a cat's whiskers. These marks on a pine tree signify it was used to collect resin for turpentine production. Topic. Converting oleoresin to turpentine Crude oleoresin collected from wounded trees may be evaporated by steam distillation in a copper still. Molten rosin remains in the still bottoms after turpentine has been evaporated and recovered from a condenser. Turpentine may alternatively be condensed from destructive distillation of pine wood. Oleoresin may also be extracted from shredded pine stumps, roots, and slash using the light end of the heavy naphtha fraction, boiling between 90 and 115 degrees Celsius or 195 and 240 degrees Fahrenheit from a crude oil refinery. Multi-stage counter-current extraction is commonly used so fresh naphtha first contacts wood leached in previous stages and naphtha laden with turpentine from previous stages contacts fresh wood before vacuum distillation to recover naphtha from the turpentine. Leached wood is steamed for additional naphtha recovery prior to burning for energy recovery. When producing chemical wood pulp from pines or other coniferous trees, sulfate turpentine may be condensed from the gas generated in craft process pulp digesters. The average yield of crude sulfate turpentine is 5 to 10 kg T pulp. Unless burned at the mill for energy production, sulfate turpentine may require additional treatment measures to remove traces of sulfur compounds. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Industrial and other end users. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Solvent The two primary uses of turpentine in industry are as a solvent and as a source of materials for organic synthesis. As a solvent, turpentine is used for thinning oil-based paints, for producing varnishes, and as a raw material for the chemical industry. Its industrial use as a solvent in industrialized nations has largely been replaced by the much cheaper turpentine substitutes distilled from crude oil. 
Turpentine has long been used as a solvent, mixed with beeswax or with carnauba wax, to make fine furniture wax for use as a protective coating over oiled wood finishes e.g., tongue oil. <laughs> Source of organic compounds Turpentine is also used as a source of raw materials in the synthesis of fragrant chemical compounds. Commercially used camphor, linalool, alpha terpenale, and geraniol are all usually produced from alpha pine and beta pine, which are two of the chief chemical components of turpentine. These pine are separated and purified by distillation. The mixture of ditopenis and tritopenis that is left as residue after turpentine distillation is sold as rosin. <laughs> Medicinal elixir Turpentine and petroleum distillates such as coal oil and kerosene have been used medicinally since ancient times, as topical and sometimes internal home remedies. Topically, it has been used for abrasions and wounds, as a treatment for lice, and when mixed with animal fat it has been used as a chest rub, or inhaler for nasal and throat ailments. Many modern chest rubs, such as the Vicks variety, still contain turpentine in their formulations. Turpentine was a common medicine among seamen during the Age of Discovery. It is one of several products carried aboard Ferdinand Magellan's fleet in his first circumnavigation of the globe. Taken internally it was used as a treatment for intestinal parasites. This is incredibly dangerous, due to the chemical's toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> Niche users Turpentine is also added to many cleaning and sanitary products due to its antiseptic properties and its clean scent. In early 19th century America, turpentine was sometimes burned in lamps as a cheap alternative to whale oil. It was most commonly used for outdoor lighting, due to its strong odor. A blend of ethanol and turpentine called camphene served as the dominant lamp fuel replacing whale oil until the arrival of kerosene. In 1946, Soichiro Honda fueled the first Honda motorcycles with turpentine, due to the scarcity of gasoline in Japan following World War II. In his book If Only They Could Talk, veterinarian and author James Herriot describes the use of its reaction with resublimated iodine to drive the iodine into the tissue, or perhaps just impress the watching customer with a spectacular treatment. Turpentine was added extensively into gin during the gin craze. <laughs> Hazards As an organic solvent, its vapor can irritate the skin and eyes, damage the lungs and respiratory system, as well as the central nervous system when inhaled, and cause damage to the renal system when ingested, among other things. Being combustible, it also poses a fire hazard. Ingestion can cause burning sensations, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, confusion, convulsions, diarrhea, and unconsciousness. Because turpentine can cause spasms of the airways particularly in people with asthma and whooping cough, it can contribute to a worsening of breathing issues in persons with these diseases if inhaled. People can be exposed to turpentine in the workplace by breathing it in, skin absorption, swallowing it, and eye contact. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA has set the legal limit permissible exposure limit for turpentine exposure in the workplace as 100 ppm 560 mg per cubic meter over an 8-hour workday. The same threshold was adopted by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health NIOSH as the recommended exposure limit REL. At levels of 800 ppm 4480 mg per cubic meter, turpentine is immediately dangerous to life and health. See also Charles Hattie Gallipot Naval Stores Industry Patent Medicine Retsina Russia leather, a water-resistant leather, using a birch oil distillate similar to turpentine in its manufacture. Turpentine substitute, white spirit, mineral spirit. Topic. Sources Kent, James A. Regal's Handbook of Industrial Chemistry, 8th edition, Van Nostrand Reinhold Company, 1983, ISBN 0-442-20164-8.